Can you treat depression with magnesium? Well, actually, there are some studies that could show that people who suffer from depression have lower levels of magnesium in their body. And of course, the question is whether the magnesium deficiency is causing depression. And we know for a very long time that if you have lower levels of magnesium in your body, you sometimes feel exhausted. But is that enough to develop depression? Or maybe it's just the other way around that people who suffer from depression have more stress and more anxiety and therefore lose more magnesium with their urine and therefore have lower levels of magnesium. And actually there are some studies, for example, about test anxiety in which could be shown that right before an exam students had more magnesium in their urine. So maybe it's just the other way around that the stress and the anxiety is causing that your body is losing the magnesium. To answer the causality question, we of course have to take a look at randomized controlled trials. And if we do so, we have to say that the results are quite mixed. Some studies found effects of magnesium uh, on depression and some did not find anything. But one study seems to be able to explain this discrepancy. Because in this study, which was published in 2017, the scientists only gave magnesium to people who indeed were suffering from low levels of magnesium in their body. So if there is an effect, you might expect that in these people there should be an effect of magnesium on depression. And indeed, it turned out that with these patients, after giving them 250 milligram of magnesium oxide twice per day over a time of eight weeks, in comparison to the control condition, they experienced lower levels of depression. So if you are suffering from depression or if you know somebody who is suffering, don't just tell him, well, take magnesium and everything will be all right. Um, maybe he or she, or maybe you should first check um, whether you have low levels of magnesium in your body. And this, of course, can be checked by a doctor. You should not increase your intake of magnesium without second thought, because on the one hand, you might get gastrointestinal problems and diarrhea. And if you take too much, it might also happen that your blood pressure goes down too strong or you get muscle weakness. So it helps to be a little bit careful. What's very good news is that we can take all the magnesium that we need into our body by what we eat and what we drink. So for example, if you eat um, a lot of sunflower seeds, cashew nuts, peanuts, dark chocolate, oatmeal, wholemeal bread, bananas, emmentaler, peas, raspberries, beans, broccoli, or if you drink mineral water containing um, a lot of magnesium, then you get more magnesium than you actually need. So you don't have to buy all these fancy supplements. You just have to uh, eat healthy. And if you do so, you also get a lot of other nutrients that are actually very good for your body, but also for your brain. Last but not least, let's take a look at why magnesium might be helpful in treating depression or anxiety. And the answer to this is not really clear by now. But of course, we know that magnesium is very important for homeostasis in the whole body. But we also know that it is a calcium antagonist and therefore has some influence on which neurotransmitters will be expressed. And, and this is very interesting, I think, it could also be shown that magnesium seems to have some anti-inflammatory effects. And inflammation seems to play a very strong role in depression and everything that helps to cope with inflammation might also help to cope with depression. I hope you enjoyed this episode and if you want we'll see you next time.